What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Self-Aware Narcissist Explains. Short edition, y'all. Short edition. It's five minutes or less. You have to stick around. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about how narcissists and toxic people want you to be grateful and thank them for not cheating on you. Thank, want you to be grateful and thank them for not leaving you and abusing you and, cheating and hurting your feelings. Like he'd go out of his way to be like, oh, babe, I just want to let you know, girl at Starbucks tried to give me your number. So Yeah, like girl at Starbucks tried to give me a number. You should be happy to have me. That's what a lot of narcissistic and toxic people will do right there, y'all. They will tell you things that they could have done, but they chose not to do them because they love and care about you so much, right? Hey, I was at the gym the other day and some girl came to me and I could have bagged it. The cheeks are looking, oof, I could have bagged it. But guess what? I didn't do it because I love you. If they say something outlandish to you like that, they expect some type of praise for that, y'all. They expect you to be, to be you for, for you to be grateful that they didn't cheat on you or do something behind your back and things like that. But plot twist, sometimes that is them confessing on themselves. That girl at the gym that ran up on me, we might have ended up sleeping together or something like that. To get it off my chest, I confessed it to you in a way that made it palatable or a way that I could handle it. Watch for unnecessary confessions and unnecessary language like that, y'all. Unnecessary stories, because they could be telling them themselves. Hope to yeah. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to let you know the, the girl at Starbucks, she wanted me to give her my number, but I didn't because I have you at home. I love you. If they say stuff like that to you, y'all, if they say things that they could have done, like if a narcissistic person says something like that to you, like they could have done this, they could have done that, but they chose not to because they love you so much. They want, they want you to be grateful. They want you to be grateful for them staying within the parameters of your relationship, of your relationship dynamic. They want you to be grateful for not cheating on the, on you. I, I had so many opportunities to cheat on you, but guess what? I didn't. Thank me. Thank me. Be grateful. And sometimes, y'all, this is a form of confession. Yes, they could be saying that the girl at Starbucks gave me a number, but she's not attractive at all. Do you have nothing to worry about? I didn't even take. Uh, I didn't even take her number. Whole time he's trying to clap the cheeks. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes, this, sometimes it has a way of being a confession. But yeah, they absolutely want you to be grateful for the things that they do not do to you. Not only do they want you to be grateful for the stuff that they do to you. They want you to be grateful for the stuff that they don't do to you that you wouldn't know unless they told you. They tell you this stuff because they want you to be grateful for them to their face. They want you to thank. They want you to give them thanks to their face for not doing this stuff to them. I'm just keeping it hot, y'all. And that's the way it works sometimes when you're dealing with these not toxic, narcissistic people. They want you to be thankful and grateful for the stuff that they do not do to you that you wouldn't even know. Unless they tell you, and they tell you for a reason. Why are you, tell, why are you telling me this? Yes, it could absolutely be a confession to something that they're, that they're actually doing. And, or they could want validation for not doing this stuff. Hey, I, I had a bunch of girls hit me at the gym today. And yes, women can be narcissists as well. Y'all, I'm a man, I'm talking about my, I'm just, I had a bunch of girls hit me at the gym today that was just like, hey, you got some big arms, I like your arms. Look, and I was just like, hey, these arms are only for one girl. <laughs> I told them about you, I showed my picture of you and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm a good guy. Thank me right now. Great, I, I, I don't hear you being grateful. Okay, next time I'm gonna, do, so you're not gonna be grateful? So next time I'm gonna do it. You see what I'm saying? A, it, they just want you to be grateful, y'all. It's weirdo stuff. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Hope this brought you some clarity, some clearance. Thank you, like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out, peace.